In this episode of Faculty Engaged, we visited with Professor John Torrey of the Philosophy Department to learn more about his career, his work in the field, and his outstanding commitment to mentoring Buffalo State students. Well, hello, Dr. Torrey. How are you? Turner, how about yourself? I'm, I'm hanging in there. It's been a, such a long time since I have physically seen you. It feels like it's been years. I know it hasn't been, but so much has happened in our life since then. So the last time we were uh, together for any extended period of time, we were visiting your class and getting a chance to hear about your background. And it was just such a pleasure uh, to hear about your teaching. And so, but does that seem like it's been a long time ago? God, yeah, it feels like it's been a few eons. I can't lie. Uh, <laughs> March and August, it feels like a 15-year odyssey. <laughs> Uh, One thing I I can say, I was was pleasantly surprised by how gung-ho the students have been so far. Mm. I I would have thought, you know, know, I'm thinking back when I was a student, if you would have told me that the semester would have kind of, you know, had, we're going to have a pandemic break in the middle of the spring, we're going to finish this out, we're going to go back to being a lot of doing a lot of remote work. I don't know if I would have had the, we'll say the internal fortitude to go, oh, I'm, I'm taking this as serious as I should. I've been getting more emails now than I was when we were in person because they're trying to make sure that they're following up, that they're, that they're following along, uh, they're letting me know feedback on the class that they, that they would normally be able to give me right after class. I'm getting those in emails. They're, they're gung-ho for this. They seem to be really, you know, um, they're jazzed up, right? They're, 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 there's no malaise, and I, uh, it, it's made the, it's made August fun. I, you know, I was I, I, I had mixed feelings on what what was going to happen with the fall. I am excited mm-hmm. for how things have been playing out so far. Oh, sounds good. So even though we had to pivot and we're doing things differently than we expected, it sounds like you're making it work, and that you're working with your students, and students are rising to the occasions, which is which is all really good to hear. Um, how about your connections with your colleagues? Uh, how are you managing that in this new world where you're not necessarily all in a building at the same time? That's probably the hardest shift I've had to make. I just, you know, I don't have a good answer to that. You just, you know, it's, it's <laughs> the pandemic forces your hand a little bit. Mm-hmm. And um, I think what we've all done is, is tried to take it, take it day by day and keep in touch with each other however we can. So, I know my department chair, Dr. Grinnell, has been really good about being in touch on emails and, and trying to make sure the department still feels like a department, even though we can't necessarily be around each other like we used to be. Good. Well, it sounds like you're keeping your balance while you're also meeting the needs of all of your students. So that's all good stuff to hear. That's good stuff to hear. So we're going to listen to your um, the presentation from before and our conversation, which Seems like a long time ago. It wasn't all that long ago, but I remember it really well. I enjoyed meeting your students and visiting with you and and learning more about your background. And so we're going to also share that with um, the community so they get to know you a little bit more as well. So so we'll move to that. And it's great to see you, John. Fantastic to see you too, Dr. Conway Turner. Glad to see you. You're in good health, good spirits, and uh, thank you for all the all your leadership that you've been giving us through this uh, the tough time to deal with anything. You've been a steward, so I, I appreciate all your work. It's tough, but we're all in it together, and so together we move ahead. It's really wonderful to be over to meet you in your own space. So talk a little bit about your um, pedagogy and um, how do you teach and and how did you develop it? Paulo Freire is a uh, famous philosopher of education, and one of the I'm things sure he is. speaks of is uh, instead of using the banking method of education, where we're going to start just, you know, the traditional 45 minute lecture where I'm telling you everything you need to know because I am the one with all the knowledge and you are there to learn, like you're just, you know, cans and I'm filling up every time. I, uh, I agree with Freire. We can't use that as a method. It, it ignores that the students come in with stuff to bring that helps us learn how to teach them and also can help us learn what kinds of things, what kind of connections we can draw on the material. It's not just me being the, the sage on the stage, so to speak. My job is to interact with the students and that this is a, a community of inquiry. You know, I might come in with more knowledge, say, about what Kant said, but you all have just as much knowledge about what Kant's saying means to you. 
and that's the conversation that we need to have. Um, so ideally, I think when I'm doing my job well, me and the students are meeting right in the middle. Um, I'm giving them some of the information to help clear up maybe the confusions in what they're reading. And they're giving me information about what they're getting out of that reading. And, and it's really fun to have those kinds of conversations with them. Well, tell me a little bit about your research and um, what directions are you going in? Um, so my work on reparations, the, the most recent project that I'm going to do, and I'll actually be presenting this um, at a conference at the end of March. And so I'll be talking about, I'm on a panel about where do we go from here, and at least one of the things I'm going to bring up is we've got a number of arguments from within the black community about why black people should not be receiving reparations. I think they're perhaps a bit misinformed, and, or more importantly, they've got a different approach to understanding the historic phenomenon of injustice against black Americans as opposed to perhaps thinking of it as more of an ongoing phenomenon. Mm -hmm. And if you think of it as ongoing, there's going to be a different argument you provide regarding reparations. If you think of it as historic, I think a lot of the arguments that people give that you know it's already been taken care of, they tend to lean on that side. So I want to try to spe spell out that differentiation and then kind of lean on the, I think we got something closer to ongoing than just historic. How are you finding our students getting interested in the research that you're involved in? So how do you make that connection? So that's another kind of engagement. So the really engaged, energized teaching in the classroom is wonderful. But the other piece is how to get them thinking about research. So how are you finding that here? Uh, well, I was able to do an undergraduate summer research fellowship with Taylor Seymour last summer. Um, we did the Buff State Lyceum, which was a pre-college philosophy workshop. Uh, one of the other things I'm very much interested in my research is, uh, I'm supposed to echo John Drager, one of my colleagues, um, about teaching and learning, but uh, for me it's on the pre-college level. So I want to make sure as early as possible, as quickly as possible, students are receiving philosophical instruction, and it just so happened Taylor shared that same interest. And so the two of us were able to partner up and develop the Lyceum, execute it, and I do maintain there, was, there would be no Lyceum without Taylor Seymour's input and, uh, and, 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 and with the rest of my colleagues as well, not to ignore, they, they all participated um, and, and helped make it a, a really wonderful program. Well, I look forward to um, our continuing our conversations and, and seeing the new things that happen and that emerge for you and, and your work in philosophy, and just great to have you on board. Thank you, I appreciate that. I, when you said, when you asked what helped bring me to Buff State, it's that you all like to work with the students. This isn't a hide in your desk and, and you know, write all the time. This is a place where you have to work with students because students expect you to work with them. And I'm all about that. Let's bring them up to where they want to go so that they can have the skills, so that they can go do the things they want to go do to make the world as best they can make it. Well, thank you for your mentorship to our students and, and all the great things that you're doing and just keep going. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. And thank you for the opportunity, seriously. It's been a blast so far.